So, let's see. We are up against Hunter. And we should probably not keep this. Not... But, I mean, the slam is so-so, right? I mean, with the slam... We can slam... Knife jugglers, we can slam mad scientists. Mad scientists are not really good to be slammed. We would like to have a weapon instead. And what about the whirlwind? The whirlwind against Hunter, especially against the face version, should be really good. Uh, against the other version, ah, but I think like we will definitely have the opportunity to get a good whirlwind off. Against Face Hunter, it's nearly not possible to not get a good whirlwind off. And against uh, Control Hunter, where this is the mid range hunter, against the mid range hunter, it will get more difficult to get uh, a good whirlwind off. We would need to wait for a big hounds or something. As I said, against Face Hunter, it shouldn't be any problem to get a good whirlwind. Yeah, so it's face hunter ish kind of. And I think we can simply do this, then next turn play this and still get value out of the whirlwind. If we now play the whirlwind, it feels a little bit weird. Only for one creature. Which we can actually counter with this, so it's like of course you cannot play Glevesuka. Sure. But if he doesn't, it's probably better to wait with the world. Let the game speak to me. We could have disposed him, of course. Guys, this. <laughs> ah, oh, the the hay fever, guys, it completely kills me. Oh. Oh. So what's going on? The uh, the the face hunter actually plays hunter's mark too. Oh. Okay. Oh. So. Uh, what shall we do? What shall we do? So, we can either Taskmaster this and attack this, which gives us to the 2 2 with him 2 2. We could also attack this Whirlwind and Warsong Commander. Ah, oh, I don't know. So, let's just do it again. We attack this, we wor uh, Whirlwind, so that's one play, uh, and we play Warsong Commander. The other play is actually to attack this. To play the Taskmaster and uh, an armor up, for example. So we have a 2 2, here's a 2 2. With the other play, we actually have a 2 3 online, no. which then will get killed. And the next turn, we have 5 mana, but 5 mana we cannot really utilize. On the other hand, if we do it the other way around now, so actually taking this and then playing Taskmaster armoring up, there's a chance that we will be able to. Nah, probably we won't have to play anyways. Okay, this probably explosive anyway, so probably this is just correct to be played like this. And definitely we play the Warzone Commander, there's no no doubt about that. Um, yeah, the Warrant, if you can Warrant for 3, we should probably, we, we probably ought to do that. Of course now we can attack that, sure. But it's not that important that we have charge on our minions. Not at all. So here's another whirlwind even, yeah. So that was definitely the right call how we played it. We played this so that it cha changes the card. It's important just because we will play Thorazin. This is probably explosive how aggressive this deck was. It even plays with Wolf Riders and Lepanom, so this should be explosive. So we just sit it out, we are at 21. So as long as he doesn't crack the bow. I mean if he cracks the bow of course we will. But if, as long as he doesn't crack the bow. There's no reason. Like he didn't do anything, so 
Um, we definitely should play Thorazin and just, just sit it out. Definitely not proccing the trap because this means 5 damage for us. Or against us actually. It means 5 damage against us. Yeah. So this is something this is something we should do. Okay. Uh, um So mm, So we will be able to better rage later for bigger for sure. This only without weapon with weapons. This I mean again like we can proc, but why should we proc it? We have no no really incentive to proc it and even give the bow a charge. Um, we could play this, but then he perhaps damages the berserk by two, and then we can again not attack. And the weapon is not useful, so yeah, we just go this and say pass. And then actually our hand gets by a discount by five, so we cannot. Yeah, that's definitely a good result. And from this turn on, we will definitely be able to armor up every turn, so that's also a good result. And next time we will be able to attack for sure. What did we do? What? Oh, he kill command. Oh, okay, so he silenced Sorison. No, look at that guy. Yeah. So he silences Sorison. Whereas he could kill command Sorison, but instead of kill commanding Sorison, he decides to kill command our face. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm just saying, look at how sick it is that he can even do that. Okay, so shall we attack first? Probably we need to attack at some point, right? So we attack first, then play Berserk, Whirlwind, uh, and Battle Rage or something like that. Then Armor up. Nice. Yeah, I know this is 5 damage, but this attacks anyways, so not really 5 damage. Or should we even do the whirlwind? Uh, I don't even know whether we should do the whirlwind. But Ah, fuck. Ah. No. Yeah, this happens if you <laughs> are too slow. Yeah, not not playing the unstable ghoul. The unstable ghoul wrecks our board. Well, I mean, we could, but um, it saves us a little bit life, right? But uh, I'm not sure. Um, that was super stupid from our side. Uh, Oh nee. don't have much time, I just exercise. So... Exercise means execute. So double whirlwind, yeah, we got double whirlwind. We only have one whirlwind.
So what could we done? We could have played uh, uh, an unstable ghoul. Unstable ghoul prevents us three damage. But uh, yes, it prevents us three damage. But um, but we also we also lose our two one then. He can play the Hounds and send one on the Berserk, and we don't have damage potential any longer. He can make the Hounds and send one on the Berserk and one on the Starison, and we don't have any damage potential any longer. Uh, I guess um, it's close. I think it's close. I can take a look at the chat. Yeah, this for sure not. That's bad for sure. Armorsmith is really consideration, given that the Armorsmith eats all the 1 1s. So we can simply drop the Armorsmith and then the Armorsmith kills a 1 1, kills a 1 1, kills a 1 1. Of course, if he plays a mini bot, it's not very effective any longer. So I guess we don't need to keep him. Yeah. But you get the point, right? So if he plays the 1 1s. If it, uh, he attacks he wants once, but on the other hand, if he plays a knife jugger or something, then it doesn't work. If he plays a shielded mini bot, so it's not that great. Um, but he plays master turn 3, we can then coin out death bite, and we are still in time. Unless he plays it, I guess. I guess if we have the whirlwind weapon, we don't need the whirlwind, right? Ah, uh, it's it's close. I think it's very close. Having a worm just like at hand is also not a bad thing for sure. What happens if he actually simply coin out the unstable ghoul? He plays two mana knife juggler, then we simply trade. He plays two mana what now? Well, we simply go this actually, so... There's not much he can actually do. I think I like to do that. It's one damage every turn and we don't use the coin if we have perfect curve. And 2, 3, 4 is perfect curve, so... When he plays a shield with mini bot, we can even attack it. And kill it with a weapon. If you place a knife juggler, you can just kill it with a weapon. If you place a token, you can just kill it with this Let and play the weapon. Think. But we, we, we block master for battle. He cannot master for battle. If he master for battles to kill it, he loses master tokens. It's a pretty annoying situation for him. I wouldn't be uh, like to be in his skin. That's what, that's what he decided. Hmm. Now there's a reasonably, a reasonable like, like, we could also take one damage from, like, for us, but that probably doesn't make any sense. We don't have bad ratio, it doesn't make any sense. So we should definitely attack with this guy here. The only question for us is, shall we play the X and kill, or should we armor up and and I don't see any reason to armor up actually. Uh, even the weapon attack is not bad here, by the way. Um, as a matter of fact, we should have not attacked with a weapon. Damn. 
Um, as a matter of fact, we should have, because we will play Frozen and perhaps the turn after we play Frozen into Corsair. So actually that was pretty damn dumb. Hmm. Uh. But on the other hand, why should he give us a good weapon target? If he doesn't give us a good weapon target, we won't do it anyways, so then it's okay. Oh. Let me think. So, for example, now, like, this is not a good weapon target. Ooh, huh? Ooh, huh? So, oh. so, we can simply attack it, right? Why? Is there any reason not to attack it with this? No, I don't. Also, the Acolyte of Pain should be, should be good because we, I mean, for obvious reasons, it should be good, right? So, or is it really stronger than the Frozen Berserk? Just, just think about it. So if you play the frozen, so, so this is clear, right? Oh yeah. So no, frozen berserk is actually better. We get four four immediately, and what shall you do about it? We can still play the Ecolite next turn. There's no reason to rush. But we probably want to go face with the echo, like with the frozen berserk. If you actually are hidden behind this, we don't even need to attack his minions because we will draw two cards anyways. So I guess this is the play, especially because this gets like immediate damage buff. We should keep on the weapon anyways, because we will need the whirlwind later. And next turn there is still the plan to play Frozen and Red Corsair. So probably keeping the weapon is, uh, is the right thing. And now we already have some pressure on the bot, so that's good as well. There is no real answer to that. So that was really... I think it was really, really good to play the Unstable Ghoul with the coin. Even despite him having nothing on the board, because he's just rocking at the very moment, as you can see. He, not even an Aldo does, uh, like Aldo is doing nothing here. Master for Battle is out of the question, but True Silver is also out of the question. Of course we could have played this in case we think that this will die. But why should this die now? Like how? With Consecration? If he consecrates this goes 6 attack and then this explodes and uh, so we go like 7 attack of this um, if he plays consecration and he, he deals 7 damage. I'm not even sure whether it's not better to deal 7 damage than to draw cards for example. Also like if he would have played the consecration we would have lost our whole board. So let's see what happens. Follow the rules! Boom! From 4 attack to 1. Basically no effect. This is how we like it. So, what shall we do? Oh, we even got this. So if this explodes, we draw infinite cards. So a quality consecration is 6 mana. A quality loan, well, is enough <laughs> um, if he kills the ghoul too. Hmm, alright. So this is something to be considered. Uh, if he kills the ghoul, so it must be a quality master for battle. I think this is clear. Is it? Or does it be over? Do we overextend punt? Dread Corsair simply dies against uh, Consecration. The same actually goes for Ecolite of Pain. Huh. Okay. Now I'm a little bit. Huh. So if you play this, you kill it with a weapon. What about Ecolite of Pain? Or should we simply go double Borzak and just go for it? Oh, I don't know, guys. Why should we simply not go here, like, right? Now, this is something I didn't know, like, what would be the best here. Berserk is 3 4. Hmm. The Echolite of Pain definitely would draw us one more card. On the other hand, we will get Whirlwind into Echolite of Pain, so I guess. It's reasonable. Yeah, we will definitely get the whirlwind into the acolyte. So, I think it's correct to actually keep on the on the acolyte. But now there's really the question whether we should not simply go like here, acolyte of pain, attack with this, this, get the explosion, 
draw one more card and then draw a lot of cards. I think that's the play, right? I mean, it cannot get better than that. I mean... Uh, uh, if you do this... Uh, I mean, there are also drawbacks. So what happens if you actually simply go Deathbite? If you go Deathbite, we attack it, we, um, um, we kill it, uh, one has to kill that. Yeah, I don't know. Let's just do it like that. I know we don't deal any damage. I mean, perhaps we deal and some damage if we draw something reasonable. So let's, let's draw cards here. What is this reasonable we have to draw? There's nothing, right? Hmm. Yeah. Now he can attack with his this and consecrate us. Well, I mean, he could have done that anyway, so I guess I, it's fine. It doesn't really matter. 2, 4, 6, 8. 2, 4, 6, 8. So our play actually... Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Let me uh, I could be more satisfied. To be honest. Like this, I'm pretty unsatisfied. Do you know what just happened? Two, four, six, eight. Huh. I wonder what just happened. I mean, we could have X attack, but it's also bad, right? I mean, if we X attack, we attack with Umverzak, it's also not good. It's also not good. I think it was okay. Mm. Of course, now we don't have the Brosex, so now we really have to make it with the patrons. Because now we played double Brosex, actually. Uh, do, you, do you see that we couldn't get like, any burial effects? It's also pretty silly. Um, music of Nonia, now we overdraw. Oh, what? What? He doesn't go for it! He doesn't go for it! <laughs> yeah, klar, zwei, vier, sechs. Oh, we are so lucky. Doesn't... Yeah, he just didn't go for it. Uh, we need to land the, uh, the, the death bite. So, the taskmaster and death bite. And what should death bite hit? Ooh, well, we win. Do we? Uh, yes, we win. Okay, so. That was the end of the Wheat Wizard. <laughs> so... Taking a look at the chat. <sighs> the deck list, yeah sure. Oh, I, I, sure. I mean it's basically Zenf class 1, we just play at the moment. So that's the list. Mm. Yeah, Brick Top Brick is saying that we should have um, Taskmaster the Ghoul in order to get another Burwind effect with the inner inner rage. That's 
absolutely correct against a hunter that was. No, no, the frozings are not really good to follow the rules. That's completely correct, Crane. Uh, Stable good into Echolite of Pain, but he will probably simply silence the Echolite of Pain anyways. So just forget the unstable good and just forget the Armor Smith. The Battle Rage, I mean, there's a good. It's really difficult to say whether the Battle Rage is not really worth it. Um, keep in mind that if he doesn't have anything turn 2, he will shapeshift our face and then suddenly Battle Rage gets the bomb. I don't think on Legend level I would perhaps keep it, but given that they always shapeshift your face. He just shapeshifts our face, I can tell you. 100% he just shapeshifts our face. What else? What else, right? I mean. What I'm saying is if he shapeshifts, he will shapeshift our face. And if he doesn't have wild cross, he will shapeshift. So either he does a wild cross or we get a lot of value out of the battle rage. If he does a wild cross, oh! Shapeshift! And of course our face! Bam! Super bad. That's super bad. Okay, so, and because he didn't have wild cross turn 3, what can he do? Yeah, not much, but um, this is also the reason why we actually should play Frozen Berserk. We don't have really a, definitely coin, we definitely don't play armor up, and nor do we cycle the battle rage for sure. So it's definitely coin into something. And it's coin into Echo Light, because turn 3 is only a shade turn, I mean, perhaps it's a coin into uh, Druid of the Claw turn. Mm, okay, perhaps it's a Baron to Druid of the Claw. So if we no coin out the Berserk, we will deal more, one more damage than coining the Ecolite. On the other hand, we can draw a Taskmaster and and he cannot coin it through of the Claw against that. On the other hand, if you play this, he can simply Wrath it. And if you play this, he cannot. Hmm. Nah, the Taskmaster. Um, on the other end, plus one damage. So it's not the end of the world. Just plus one damage. It's very acceptable. I'm not even sure whether we would have made this high Taskmaster. I mean, uh, probably yes. But I'm just saying this would have been mana inefficient. Oh, Wild Cross, yeah, that's an early bird. I'm not sure whether doing nothing is correct. Perhaps you should have attacked the Echolite. Um, we will now definitely do this and draw Battle Rage cards. This is simply good because we draw a lot of cards and we give Berserk a buff in comparison to Gnomish. So this actually inflicts three more damage and lets, uh, lets us um, um, utilize Battle Rage, whereas this is uh, a dead card otherwise at the moment. Or at least like not, not a converted card at the moment. Yeah, so you get, you get the drill. We should not play this because it damages us more than him. And here's the better rage for two. This is how we like it. Three and three. It's not the. Uh, it's not insane, but it's something. It's it's a start. Two, four, six, seven cards. That's also good. Mm, I'm missing a little bit of weapons, but there we come. I mean, we would have always kept the weapons, but unfortunately they are none. Uh, if he swipes this, we. <laughs> He's so good. Boom, boom, and plus one card. I wonder whether he would have thought that. Jack. Two, four, six, eight. And now we go to nine cards. Are you kidding me? And then we go to ten. Zack. 
No, that's bad because he should know. I'm not sure whether he should let us draw, but okay, here, here we go. And 10 cards. Alright, so we want to bring Patron to Whirlwind. And. Huh. Yeah, we have to get rid of some cards. We have, we have too many of them in our hand. So, I mean, we got 10 cards in our hand, so there's a patron into the whirlwind. And the only way actually to play something out of our hand is <laughs> Acolyte and Amos Man. That's the only way. Now, of course, if he deals two, two times damage, we overdraw, but that's fine. Because, I mean, why should he deal two times on damage on that guy? Two, four, six, eight. Okay, we are at eight cards. That's good. And he's already at seven mana, so he can be faster than we are. Um, but this is actually his only way to win, being faster than we are. So let's see what happens. I mean, we have also some ways to handle what he what he does. We should simply stay mana efficient as much as possible. A Thorazin will save. A weapon always helps too. So let's see. Um, Grim Patron, Whirlwind? No, never. This can never be good. Mm. What? I need to get rid of these cards. We have so many. So we play the weapon, we definitely do an execute tool, right? Mm. So we could, uh, we could send this into that, perhaps execute this instead of using the weapon. I, I really don't want to lose too much life, so perhaps executing that would be better. Mm. And then perhaps whirlwind and draw another uh, pack of cards, but then we can actually simply... Um, mm, Perhaps I could this land first, I guess, because this land is... Uh, uh, we have so... we have just too many cards in our hand. We definitely want to do... Um, we definitely want to do the execute just because we have so many cards in our hand. It's so silly that... Um, like, two, four, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. So... If this draws two cards, we are full, and if this draws one card, we are one less. But definitely, like, needed to do this, we couldn't even play at better rage, because two full of cards. He silences, yeah, that's good. Mm. Yeah, I really wonder whether we should have played this lamb, or actually better rage for two. Better rage for two would have meant one more card. Mm. Execute. Uh... Oh, do we die against the combo now? Oh my god. Uh, do we die? Uh, if we don't... Mm, oh, we, we die. We die to the combo. I need it, right? First we should have not executed, but that's another story. Was? 4, 3, 7, 3, 4, 6... Thirteen cards. We can just do the combo and hope that he doesn't have the combo. If he doesn't have the combo, we probably simply win, right? So, should we do that? I guess yes. I mean, not that we have the choice here, right? Ah, come on, we are dead, but... Hmm. It doesn't have the combo... I guess... I guess it's not... Okay, we will just see what happens. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, nine! Go on, nine! Nine! Hey! Ah! And he needed like fucking trillions of years to count it. It's not that he plays Grim Patron, does he? Mm, four, eight, uh, hey, ah! Oh, what? And it was. Hey, suddenly we had so many cards. 
I just don't know. Suddenly we had so many cards and we just couldn't get rid of them. He played so badly. I think he wanted us to 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 uh, overdraw. Like, um, just giving the patron as many cards as possible. I mean, that's the weakness of this kind of build because we really play a lot of cantrips. So, um, it means that sometimes we just don't have enough speed, not enough tempo. We executed the tree instead of drawing two cards. I guess it was really, really close. We played the slam. Slam exchanges itself. And what we could have also done is we could have played um, Battle Rage for two instead. So... Or even for three, I don't know, but definitely for two. So, um, instead, like playing Battle Rage for two, actually sending like the two attack minion on the instant of lore. And instead of executing it, we could have... Well, actually, we could have done everything. If you don't want to execute, no, but then we, we overdraw again, yeah, okay. So we wanted to use the execute in order to actually decrease our, our hand size, the cards in our hand, because we could have not done all. We could have not played battle rage and not played the execute. That wouldn't have been possible. So it was either or. So option number one would have been not to play the battle rage, slam the guy, and then actually attack it with a weapon. So that's option number one, but then we take five damage. So the result wouldn't have mattered. No, the result would have mattered because he could have not dealt nine damage, how he did it in the end, but only dealt five damage. This wouldn't have been enough. And we would have stayed mana efficient. Yes. Yes. So we should have not played the execute. We should have attacked the end of law with a weapon, staying mana efficient, by slamming it before, um, and then what? And then what? Does it make any sense? No, we would have then armored up for two mana. It doesn't really make sense too. No, I don't know, but it doesn't really make sense too. If you slam it, we play the weapon. We cannot battle rage because then. We overdraw. Whatever. Uh, perhaps just a little bit unlucky also that we didn't have Thorazin. No second execute actually. I mean the, the idea of trying not to lose too many life was actually perhaps even correct but yeah. Okay. Definitely you play this, so perhaps you learn something out that he doesn't know that you have a fury. Again, I would play this over armor, but I definitely play this over anything else. Now we can actually wound ourselves, so that would be a big mistake to actually attack it with the armor smith. As a matter of fact, I don't even want to attack his face. It's not worth it for one damage. Because we already know that it's Patron Warrior. Why we know that? Yeah, it's obvious, right? Okay, so... I guess we can just do the same again. Turn 6 we can combo. The question is, do we want to do the combo earlier? So if you get this 3-3 three, three and this 2-2, two, two, yeah, then you can execute and stuff. No, it's not good. The question is, should we now attack it? Because now we are already wounded. So that... And, and we can actually wound him too, I think. Now it's actually worth it. I guess. For 3 damage it's a different story. On the other hand, no, because we, we overtake anyways. Uh, but on the other hand, he will simply attack it now with Death Bite. No, I think it's fine. We just attack it. We give him 3 damage and play this weapon, it's okay. That's just about right. 
because now we actually prevent a little bit that bite. Blood and thunder. Uh, yes, right. Eh? Why the heck should he ever do this? It's so bad. Ah! No, we could have task mastered it. Yeah, I was just like always if the opponents are playing badly, I'm a little bit. I'm yeah, I'm really looking forward for legend level, like really. Uh, sure we do it however. <laughs> I, I guess yes. No, it's not a yes. I guess we keep it. Now we will burn him twice next turn, so everything will die anyways. On the other hand, we will have more pre no, it's correct to play it actually. Actually it's correct to play it, because with this we can actually remove stuff from his board. So, yeah, we have to do this in order to prevent that we will be able to do it. Of course we should have dealt it to damage, that's not the question. Let the pain speak to me. Yeah, if he is doing stuff like this, we are more than happy. So now we can actually cripple it by attacking it. Hmm. So what is it? We can either do two damage in the face and prevent the card draw. We take one damage, she takes um, uh, two instead of four. So three life against the card, yeah. So he takes two and otherwise he would take two more. Now it's okay. No problem. It's okay. I think we are better off if he gets one less card and for that he um, for that he takes like it's a life difference of three and that's okay. If you attack with a weapon in his face, we take one less damage. And we deal two more. That's the difference. So we now took one more damage and gave him two life in order to prevent him from getting one more card. What now? Yeah, now we don't have the Taskmaster any longer. So perhaps it was a mistake to actually give the Taskmaster away. Hmm. Yeah, just because of that. Oh, but sometimes the luck is in your favor. So we spawn two new ones. So it's okay. Oh, we blocked them. No, we are not blocked because this dies. Yeah, as I said, sometimes the luck is in your favor. <laughs> Yeah, um, against the Druid we probably should have won. I'm sure there should have been some way. I don't know. What about playing Unstable Ghoul instead of Whirlwind? We would have been safe from combo. Mm. Yeah, but if you play Unstable Ghoul and he uh, he plays double Ras or a Ras Keeper, it's again bad. But I guess you're right whatsoever. I think the chance of him having both is rather unlikely, so 
what I'm saying is the chance of him having, yeah, having the second keeper and having this wrath is probably not likely. Yeah, perhaps we should have played the ghoul, yes. Probably we should have played the ghoul, it's correct. Hmm. It's not that easy, by the way, because it's not always like that he simply attacks your ghoul and then you spawn patrons. He can just kill your two patrons and you're also screwed. Just, I mean, it's not, yeah. Yeah, yeah, with the ghoul, with the ghoul. I'm not saying in this situation it's wrong, but if you think the ghoul is great to actually get a lot of patrons, you are really on the wrong path. I promise you. Like, with this, with this patron, um, with the ghoul activating patrons, I tried this very often and I can tell you it doesn't work very often. Yeah, it doesn't work very often. So, um... Warrior. Hmm. No, 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 no. No, actually. No to everything. One of them would have definitely been enough. And let's see what kind of warrior this is. Having two is like having one, one dead card, actually. Okay, it doesn't have to face. Just about right. Now against Patron, like against him, it's perhaps a little bit different. Like against him, there is a chance to actually get Patron behind Stable Ghoul and then he doesn't, cannot really get around it because he cannot deal with a single patron. Mm. Perhaps he should have not played it because now he could wound himself. Yeah, but it's difficult to be said. Strike. Yeah, as I said, turn six we can actually play patron behind unstable wool. He cannot deal with this because he cannot he cannot attack the unstable ghoul with a weapon. Of course he can somewhat kill the unstable ghoul and then kill this with weapon and then this will execute but yeah you get the point. So yeah no this is nasty. You should probably simply slam it and execute it. But also we want to get wounded because of the battle rate, so now that's a little bit tricky. But I guess we definitely slam it, that's for sure. And the thing is we could wait with the execute. We could just wait until we get wounded. Just so that we can play the battle rage. But battle rage for one is also hmm, not what we would like to see, so Next time we can actually play what? Patron into coin into whirlwind. It's not good. Patron into coin into unstable is better, but still not good. I guess we can execute. It's bad rage for like. Ah, no. I don't know. Let the pain speak to me. Huh, it's this hapes. Oh, 
Flukes. Um, he helps a lot. Especially because this is only for damage. Oh, five damage. So I'm um, five damage from the first. Two six. Okay, now how does it look? Warzone Commander. I mean, he, he made it possible. So now we can play Warzone Commander one Patron. Patron attacks this, this. Uh, where don't we get more patrons? Uh, one patron attacks that. The one of the damage. Yeah, I think that's the play. He is also patron, so we don't have to fear anything. Also, we have so many of these patrons, anyways. But yeah, okay. Hmm. I guess that's a strong place. And one of the damage attacks this, but he, he can never like uh, deal with the two full ones. So the two full ones will actually break his neck. Boom! Boom! Slasher, slasher, mesher, yes! Very good. Very good, guys. Yeah. It's fascinating that we always have the combo uh, before them because we only use like one inner rage, so it's uh, actually pretty unlikely that this happens. But it seems that it happens. Hmm. Yeah, that's lethal, guys. We can inflict twenty-two actually. That's pretty funny. Uh, actually, we can inflict twenty-four even. Um, so it's pretty good for us. Hmm, actually we cannot, oh sorry, <laughs> I messed it up, lol, one of them doesn't duplicate, uh, <laughs> yeah, okay, so much to that, um, yeah, I messed it up, never mind, yeah, yeah, we are one damage shot now, I know, I know, I know, don't tell me about it, the, um, the the shame is already big enough. Please, please don't remind me. Oh, <laughs> but we win anyways because we are so good. Um, but just to get sure, uh, just to be sure. Like Easy. Cool. That's how you play turn warrior. Yeah, the animations are stupid like hell. The only thing which is worse than stupid patron animations are stupid patron animations with armor smith. Okay, but I'm reading the chat here. Who was just to play from the combo because Druid always have it. No, it's nonsense that Druid always have the combo. Always is like rather like 35%. So, um, yeah. They usually only run one force of nature. So, Druid having the combo is about 35%. It's not even likely. It's unlikely that Druid does have the combo by turn 9.
Gerash versus Rex. Rares Hunter. Victory or death. Ah, that's an easy mulligan. Hmm. Yeah, that's an interesting board of choices. Three two mana drops. So if you place a leper gnome or something, then it's dead. Abuse uh, sergeant, then it's dead. There are also cards where we would consider playing the ghoul or the armor miss. All of these cards have their uses. It will be really difficult to evaluate which ones of them will be the best. Greetings, traveler. <laughs> okay, hmm. interesting. So, what about this? So, this is a Worgen Infiltrator. Obviously, we cannot task mass it because it's death. Um, you could now argue that we could simply play the Unstable Ghoul. The problem with the Unstable Ghoul is the following. He will simply be able to play Glaive Suga and then this trades into the Unstable Ghoul. So, uh, it must be the Armor Smith. If he doesn't have the Glaive Suga perfect, then he attacks it and overkills it and we get 2 armor. If he doesn't have Glaive Suga and he does have an Eagle Hombo perfect, he uses 1 charge to attack it and he overkills it. Get in there and fight, so that's probably the best result for him. It's still soaked up 5 damage, so it's still not the end of the world. So all his traps should be explosive traps. Now what shall we do? There's the task mass on this, we even the board out. Task mass on that, the board is even, but he has the first attack. If he actually plays the unstable ghoul, he will probably be required to actually attack with this and with this, the unstable ghoul. And I think that's actually a good result. Unless he plays Glaive Suka and this gets the buff, then it's bad for us. But if he plays Glaive Suka and this gets the buff, then it's again very good for us. So perhaps we should consider playing the Unstable Ghoul here. We still have a backup for the small one damage guys. But that's actually pretty strong. And even if he silences us with the Owl, we can still make a profitable and beneficial trade. So I would nearly be inclined to go with this here. And then if the trap is online, we can actually simply play the Fear Works and the Text Phase. But I like to have this in the backhand. And to activate this when it's a good... Um, occasion to be activated and this feels like a good occasion to be activated because here an owl is not horrible whereas usually like you you would not like to play this uh, in a very neat situation where you really need him and suddenly he simply owls it so that would be that yeah so um yeah difficult to be said but we will see what happens he could play a bow and kill it though but then this still gets killed so yeah, so that's also a good result, right? I mean, if he plays a bow and kills it, then that's for sure also a good result. And there were no like other plays available for us, by the way. Not really, at least. I wonder. Okay, that's good for us. That's good for us. And boom! Oh, oh, look at that! And we anticipated everything. And this is just like the beauty. And here's the second unstable good, so we really made everything correctly. So, um, uh, just too good to be true. Okay, here you go. Bring the secret! Boom! Explosive trip! Boom! Nothing happens! Bam! Back to work on the 3 1! Wow! Wow! I don't know whether you realize, but we are still at 24. That's a pretty good result. Warzone Commander. Yeah, I guess. No problem. I guess we can even dispose that. Uh, we don't need to dispose it. I mean. This will attack this. Nah, let's dispose it. So 
So now it's looking pretty good. Again, Space Hunter, but we have a lot of life. And Amosmus online. So he's out of powder. He played the 3 1 Wolf Rider, and the Wolf Rider simply dies against the Taskmaster, so that's pretty ugly for him. Yeah, the Wolf Rider, yeah. Just. Yeah. Ah, it's such a good feeling if you play against Face Hunter and you are 25. Oh, what haunts? Oh, and knives give us armor. Usually that's really bad for us, but in this case we just get armor. No, not on the armor smiths, please. Yeah, not not too many on the armor smiths, please. Boom and armor, look at that, and boom again. Whoa. Hey, we are out of cards, kind of what? No loot. We could send this into that, or we can simply slam it. Hmm. And we have 28, we can even death by this if you want. Probably we want to death by it. It seems pretty silly, but I think it's the correct play here. Because we don't have infinite cards, we are actually out of cards. So if we actually like simply armor up every turn, we should be fine. Because we of course outlast the face hunter. Yeah, so... Yeah, this is actually what happens. We definitely outlast the face hunter. But we only out... Yeah, so we should simply armor up every turn and we simply outlast him. Yeah, he silences it, that's perfect for us. That should be another explosive, I guess. You should definitely draw the card with the slam, if possible. Hmm. So, how do we do it the best? We should attack with this. this. Uh, oh. So that it's not snipe. Uh, Hey, what? Ah, he tricked us. It's not an explosive. Hey, what? Uh, uh, what? Um, what? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, so it's a freezing, of course, yeah. Okay, never mind. Two <laughs> Huh? Now he's doing us a favor if he attacks that. A big favor. He should definitely not attack the ghoul. What? What is he doing? Typical face hunter. That's so typical face hunter. Is it snipe? What? Or is it snake? Or what? Misdirection? No, misdirection cannot be, so it's snake, yeah? Okay, I see. No, oh, cool. Yeah, we already know that it's not an explosive chat. I wonder what he's trying to tell us. Yeah, taking a look at the chat.
Garrosh versus Rexa. Let the hunt begin. Victory or death. So we keep everything. Armor Smith is good against Hunter for sure. Unstable is good against Hunter for sure. This is good against. Uh, yeah. Easy. And the game plan is turn one, coin out armor smith into ghoul. Perhaps even coin out ghoul first turn. So now we already said it and we discussed it. And last time we came to the conclusion that actually armor smith is the correct play. Mm. Yeah, I think the evaluation didn't change. It seems that uh, this does always happen. Perhaps the unstable ghoul is could have been better. Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, it's like if he does have Glaive Zuka, he simply kills it and kill attacks face, but he also has to play Glaive Zuka, right? And then we actually play Armorsmith and we are good. But if he doesn't have it, then this completely blocks him. I think actually Unstable Good could be better, as a matter of fact. So perhaps um, perhaps it was the wrong evaluation. We should have not trusted our evaluation, but just re-evaluate again. Um, so that was stupid. That was pretty stupid. Uh, of course now we stay mana efficient and play Echolite of Pain over Unstable Good. That's for sure. Ooh. Mm, it's more I know from the heart and sort, yeah. One of the whatever you call it. Uh, okay. So at the beginning we should not armor up too much, I feel, but Unstable Ghoul actually completely shuts down his whole action. Now what we could do is actually we could play the weapon because it also did some damage on the face. And we won't be able to deal like uh, to, to get off the weapon charges anyways. So let's just use them. Because what I'm saying is this is a card in our hand and for 2 mana it actually did 6 damage. So it's a card plus 2 mana for 6 damage. Um, yeah, yeah, it's acceptable I guess. 2 mana 6 damage. Um, and if you don't use it now we will never use it. What the fuck? What the fuck is he asking? Hey, man. Hey, I don't know what's going on. I mean, what what drugs does he like take to make these these kind of plays? So, frozen berserk or these two? Yeah, obviously it's these two. Right? It's just mana efficient. Why shouldn't we play the mana efficient play? Yeah, of course we go face. Of course we go face. Yeah, mana efficient play is always nice. Yeah, that's okay. So that should be explosive, right? Um, yeah, how do we handle explosive actually? I mean, just ignore that, right? What about just playing this and this and just ignore that? Then he will attack the Berserk and the Berserk will die against the Explosive, yes, that's for sure. If he actually go the weapon and simply go face and arm up, what about that? Should be good, right? Yeah, I guess that's the best. We could play Patron, but no. Yeah, and that's just about right. 4 mana 8 damage can never be that bad. He is uh, down to 2 cards, so... I mean, of course, after he played double kill command. So, oh yeah, he doesn't have kill commands also. Yeah, because he played double kill command on, 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 on trash. Like, I don't know. But now he should be 
Like he should attack this guy, right? No? Doesn't want it. No, he doesn't want to attack it. But okay, it doesn't make sense. So this attacks this, this attacks face or what? You can even do double whirlwind, ah but then hmm. This attacks this? No. Okay, we do one whirlwind now. We attack double whirlwind. Yeah, okay. Hey, give me a minute. We have to do double whirlwind before we can, huh? Okay, so you don't even proc it. So one whirlwind is enough or what? I don't get it, I don't know, I'm, I'm AFK here. I just don't, this is too much for me, I don't know. It just... I don't understand what to do here. But he's out of cards, so I guess we cannot do anything wrong with his play. He cannot wound this unless he throws something onto that, so that's good. And we have a lot of cards and we have... It's basically unusable. I, see. I love it. So it could be freezing or what? No. Shall we test this? So we have... Okay. Yeah, I don't get it. It's a lot of... Uh, it should be explosive in, in theory, but we can hey, just test it with this, right? Freezing. It's three is at seven. What now? I don't know. We should just go for it, I guess. So I guess just play the weapon, go face, this go face, and we play that. So we set up a lethal for next turn unless he, he takes care of both. So this is not like it, it's face hunter with freezing traps. It didn't look like freezing traps, but okay. So why should he? I mean, he was aggro version, right? He had abusive sergeant, leper gnomes, and stuff. Okay, whatever. I mean, it should be enough, right? Because, like, even if he handles both, we can, whatever, Acolyte of Pain. Yeah, we can do some stuff. Oh! Risky, huh? Yeah, this. Oh, what? Only if he hits the Berserk twice, right? Yeah. Well played. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. So, yeah, whatever, I don't know. Ah, Shaw is also in the house. Hey, Shaw. I guess when we are, once we are legend, we can also again make a break. Yeah, hand handbook would be pretty funny as 
this last one. Yeah, Berserk, I think we can keep that. We need this to inflict burst if it's actually handlock. If it's zoo, it doesn't do much, but yeah. I mean, what, what, what would do much if it's zoo? I guess keeping Berserk is. Yeah, I guess handlock. I mean, you, it's also a late game card against handlock, but you need it at some point, so. I'm not sure whether to keep it. Against Zu. Against Zu, it's a 3 mana drop, I don't know. So 2-4. Yeah, that's also one of the finishing cards. If you would have had an Echo Light, we could have played it. So that's handlock, so we should not play this. We should keep on that, should keep on that. We can actually draw a card. He can coin out Drake, the question is whether we should cruel taskmaster execute it. Oh it's actually the Dragon Burst. It's actually the Dragon Burst deck. I greet you. Oh, yeah. Greetings. So it's the Dragon Burst deck. So if it's a Dragon Burst deck it doesn't run molten, so perhaps he should have played. Ah but on the other hand he will be able to kill that anyways. Um, yeah, Taskmaster this and executing, he will play, he will run drakes like um, the four or nine dragons, so um, we should not, we should not kill that, so, um, not with the execute, I mean, but we will be able to actually draw some cards here, well, one to start with, but to get my point, no. Yeah, here's the Drake. Oh, he coins out Mortal Coil, but that's okay. I think if he coins out Mortal Coil, we are just like, that's absolutely fine. Yeah, Drake is the strongest uh, creature in the deck, so we should definitely execute that. Yeah, what's the question? There is actually no question. We should play the Armor Smith for the Battle Rage for sure, too. Definitely not getting more armor. Like, what I'm saying, definitely not getting more armor with this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he goes face, and that's probably. I mean, if he would only have a weapon, but we don't have a weapon. Ooh. I mean, he he will play Hellfire, I guess. Or at least he should play Hellfires. Uh, guys, what's going on? Next time we can perhaps play Grim Patron, Inner Rage and Unstable Ghoul. So we shall not use Unstable Ghoul, nor Inner Rage, nor Grim Patron. Battle Rage isn't worth it. So we can perhaps play Dread Corsair. It's actually the only thing we can play. I'm not sure whether we should play it, but it's for free, so... First we should just slam it on the board and see what happens or yeah. Yeah, I think I mean, what what shall we do, right? Uh, he can simply eat everything, right? Grim Patron, Inner Rage, two uh, Unstable Ghoul, and he can then bomb one. And the other one duplicates itself, but then he can simply eat them. 
<sighs> but can we do anything about it? Like, even if he does have nothing, what happens? One attacks them. Okay, if he does have absolute nothing. Mm -hmm. 12 damage. We don't even have time, that's what I want to say. We don't even have time. What I'm saying is perhaps we have to do it. Just because this is like 12 damage, so we would go on 23. Mm. Then we would be able to draw two cards, but... Uh, mm, yeah, we also be as minions by doing that, I don't know. Nah, it's probably a bad idea. I don't know. This is just a desperation move. This is pure desperation. Mortal coil on that over. Oh. Ah. So we used what? We used the Yeah, we would have played this anyway, so the only thing we actually used was Inner Rage. We actually used the Inner Rage. Alright, so now here's the Ecolite, yeah whatever. You already played this all. Um, we can simply play the Ecolite, I guess. Uh, simply, but it's like yeah. Let's play the Ecolite. <laughs> we could have been arranged that to dig one more card deeper. Uh, wait, 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 um, Sorison and we win. We only need Sorison, we probably win. What? Ah! Perhaps. Perhaps. Wait, what, wait, what, wait, what? Okay, how do we do it? Um, no, we don't do it at all. This can simply not duplicate. Uh, yeah, okay, never mind me. I didn't say anything. Uh, now we would need this commanding shout, but there is... I, we don't clear commanding shout. Um, hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and we win. It looked like a little bit nice with all these, but they can simply not duplicate. So never mind me. Mm. We can draw one card if you want. Mm, that's the best we can do, right? No. Yeah. Yeah, commanding shout, of course. Even that. Okay, never mind. What is 11, 15, 19? Yeah, okay. What now? Or we can try hard. Now it's a try hard mode. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, no. Ah, so close. Oh. 
no, but we don't give up, up of course. Mm. Yeah, so close. No, that was of course not close, not at all. Um, given that we also had the berserk till the end, I really don't know. Weapons! At least we got the good. Okay, weapon, one, a line. It's good to have the ghoul turn two and then the weapon, it's okay. We would have rather have the small weapon here, but we cannot have everything. So if we slam it, um, it doesn't make sense because this will grow, then it will grow again, and then it will actually eat our unstable ghoul, I guess. No, we slam it. It grows to 2. He does have the coin. So it grows to 2 1 attacks. And then, if you then play the unstable ghoul, this simply eats the unstable ghoul. So there's nothing we want. On the other hand, if you play the unstable ghoul first, um, and let's say we uh, at least exchange 1 attack. Well, well, we can even slam and attack it. Like, that's even better. Now look at that. That's like much nicer, right? So now we can actually slam and attack it. And it even handles the mad scientist also. So that's pretty insane. So now this school actually handled the mana worm uh, and the mad scientist. Pats! For science. Hmm. So we could either play the death bite and then have a whirlwind effect. This doesn't profit from the whirlwind effect because we are okay, we will be wounded. So we will be able to hmm We will be able to play this. Uh not play this and the battle rage. So this will never profit and we don't want to play the Warzone Commander yet, right? We could play Warzone Commander and this and then actually better rage for 3 but then again we still don't know whether this is not counter spell on the other hand we can fear Vork's attack but then we would not do anything else with the other 2 mana right because we could of course uh, play the dread corsair but then if this is mirror entity I mean we would, we would, we would not like to do that like because then it's mirror entity then he can remove that and deal damage on the face so what do we do? if we attack this and then our plan is what? To play Dread Corsair, to play Warzone Commander and then Dread Corsair and then kill the Warzone Commander. And then we also see if we, after we play the Warzone Commander we will see whether... Uh, after we play the Warzone Commander we will then actually see whether it's Mirror Entity. And if it's not, yeah, then we don't play this into Counter Spell. But if, it's, if it is, we actually draw three cards. Yeah, that works. That works good. Mm -hmm. That works well. We will need to send the crosshair into that. But let's do. We do this, right? We do the war song. Yeah, I guess. Come on, be mirror entity. So we can actually attack this and then kill this, but this is still, like, our oh, still dies, so we should actually attack that and then kill that. So that's that. Three are wounded. Battle Rage for three. Battle Rage for three is insane. Three is really a lot for Battle Rage. So three cards is really convenient, and of course we trade this against that. But now he is actually forced to kill that. So Fireball, uh, Fire Blast actually isn't doing it, so he needs to either Flame Wake or something. Yes! It missed. 
I mean, it missed, it missed. I think it did pretty. Oh, but I think it was okay, yeah. So we draw a lot of cards, so now we should be able to outvalue him. Yeah, Tasmans in the Execute is perhaps even too too mighty against that. Also, it, it's a, a odd number of mana. We have six mana, so these are three. That's not good. Um, we could, however, we, we could either. So either we fire Rewarex and then we Taskmaster it, or we slam it first. But I think actually ta X and Taskmaster is better, just because this deals damage on the spot, and we get a two-two on the board. But this deals two damage, and this actually deals one damage. So we should probably use the one damage. And then we can also play the armor smith, which is actually a good result then. Hello. Yeah. Hmm. Or we slam it, but then we have less board. I don't want to have less board. We don't execute that, right? I mean there will be a better execution target than the 5-4, I guess. Yeah, there should be better execution targets than the 5-4. Dr. Boom, Antonidas, stuff like that. With the armor spins, I mean 18 is is pretty on the best part, I think. And having two minions is actually also good. Yeah, because these are actually doing damage. Mm. And life! Armor! Bling. Bam! Armor! Pling! Mm. We also get one armor. Anyway. Another X. Um, hmm. A wound is out of the question. We could slam this, but for which. Like, why should we do that? He should also be out of space at some point, but we can simply play Gnomish Inventor, I think that should be just about right. Yeah, I mean, why not Gnomish Inventor? Unstable Ghoul, yeah, the Unstable Ghoul damages us more than him. We can slam him, then we can still decide whether we actually want to execute it. No uh, problem! Um, so now we can actually trade this card against that card, but then we don't have a handle for the big minions. But I guess we still do it, right? Or do we still do it? I guess not. How many spells should you play here? I don't know, it's a 2-2. Two -two. Trading a card against a 2-2 two -two which can actually attack is always reverse like 3 mana and then it also has, it has effect. We shall execute it. Is he really outvaluing us after we drew 3 cards with a battle rage? Yeah? It's pretty mighty that he cannot value us even after that. Flanken? Frostbolt? Wow. Pretty expensive actually. Uh, okay. Mm, we can hope that he doesn't have a flame strike. Perhaps even playing the ghoul, or or, or we just play the ghoul like and um, frozen ghoul armor up, and then like trick him because he played what? Yeah, we don't even want to worry. Mm. He played double frostbolt. He will have fireball one at least. Which means, which means we have a three two, and if he does have a flame cannon, for example, uh, but it could also hit the wrong one. I think we want to lure out. I think we want to lure. Um, I think we want to lure the removal out. 
So I think we want that he actually fireballs the frozen and then we can Grim Patron into one whirlwind at least. Keep him the weapon just to deceive it, like to hide it. So very often they don't even run flame strike. So if they don't run flame strike, we just we just hope that he doesn't run flame strike easy, yeah. Hmm. Oh if I was said that's a good result, because then this probably stays alive. Yeah, counter spell and um oh counter spell. Hmm. Uh, counter spell means we cannot duplicate. And he can mirror entity, but we don't play this anyways. We just go probably weapon two. Probably weapon. Yeah, so we attack with the weapon. I guess the answer is probably yes. I mean, he's already at now, ah, already at, but we could always throw like a, a death bite, and then we would like to re-equip death bite. So. Ju let's just use the charges here. There should be two death bites in there, actually. I think. Yeah, that's a yeah. tough one that he could actually come back. I mean, he could also be flat. And we really drew like three cards with the battle rage. I don't even know what's going on. I mean, three cards is really a lot. And it's not that I don't even know where, how we can get flat, because drawing three cards from the battle rage is actually a, a big, big thing. Mm. Yeah, we just hope for it, we just go Patron. Patron, mess mode. Patron, attack this, executing it. Here's a fireball, by the way. And now it's good that we still got this. Oh, this is so good. So, um, should we give him a Patron or an Ecolite? And obviously it's a Patron. So... We attack the patron. We play the Echolite of Pain. This attacks this. We draw one more card. This tries to execute it, but obviously will not be successful. And we were in the whole story. And he already played with Fireball, so we go down to 16, but we know that he doesn't have fire, like one Fireball and Two frostbolts he also doesn't have. So the only thing he can actually do is now frostbolt. That's it. Um, frostbolt, supernova, supernova, um, flame strike. I mean, it's the only thing. Flame strike or bust. Probably he is bust. Like he is bust. <laughs> or does he have it? I have no time for games. No, he doesn't have it actually. Huh. Um We could clear. Uh, attack, 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 attack. But should should we clear? Or do we really want to do that? These two attack this and this, he gets this, then we are also good, actually. Mm. Okay. Oh no, he, we wanted that he gets that. Ah, oh, uh, not concentrated. Um, mm, nine damage. Uh. No, I'm confused. Should we, should we use the Echolite of Pain? That one. Yeah, I guess he doesn't have flames. Like we just go super mode here. What? What is that? I mean, we just go all in. What else? He doesn't have flames. Like, like what? What shall we here? Um, yeah, so we here halt, yeah. Like, oh my god, we can actually. Oh my god, please. Ah, nein. Come on! Everyone! Yeah, it's fucking lethal.
I mean, if he didn't fill the top deck blank flag and he doesn't, he didn't, then it's still okay, I guess. It is okay, right? We should have one whirlwind uh, weapon in there, so that's six. Um, six, eight, yeah. If one of them survives, actually, right? Should be enough. What to do? Face what? Yeah, Strike. sure. What else? You must be kidding me here. Yeah. I mean, there's still one X in there, so. Yeah! Mm, fucking stupid. Like, you have a time limitation of 1 minute 10 and then the animations take like 40 seconds. But yeah, I mean, obviously, yeah. Uh, obviously, that's the deck. Deathwing, mohahaha. <laughs> it's time for a little blood. Nearly, yes. Okay. Yeah. Take a look at the chat. Um, Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that was lethal. Yeah, okay, we go for it. We can keep the gnomish. The inner is really the question because inner edge actually enables patrons. I really like to keep it because this is your win condition. Now we only need the patron and we are good to go. And this will enable us to get the patron. Keep in mind that we run two patrons, so every draw is like 8% patron. It's really a lot. So now we got this, so we only need the world defect and we are just good to go. So, uh, yeah, that's not. That's not it. This is actually pretty useless in this matchup. Mm. This is only if it's um, this is only if it's actually a patron warrior, of course. If it's not patron warrior, um, it doesn't matter, of course. We take one damage because of battle rage or four battle rage. Let's do that. Also, we prevent we we prepare Tasmasa. We not only prepare Taskmaster, but uh, by the time we kill it, he has two armor, so he cannot wound himself. Which is also important. Yeah. Oh, I can see an Echolite of Pain actually now. So, how does the Echolite of Pain actually um, change our game plan? Um, the Echolite of Pain... 
Oh. How does it change our game plan? Hmm. I mean, we could play him. We let this alive because he can only draw one cut of the battle out of the battle rage, anyways. What now? Yeah, we need to cycle our deck. We need to cycle. We need to cycle to get these patrons. So yes, and we don't attack this, and we don't attack his face for sure. Not. Yeah, so. We need to cycle to the patrons, 100%. Yeah, that's fine, we cycle our card anyways. Mm. And now it gets a little bit higher now, now the chance increased to 10% actually to get it at any point. Yeah. Two, four, six, eight, and uh, we could what? We can actually taskmaster that guy, but why should we? If we taskmaster that guy, he can still not wound himself, so we have enough time. We can simply go this, then he cannot attack it, because then he would wear in his own armor smith. Also, he doesn't want to attack it anyways, because he wants to preserve. So, yeah. Hide the Fatz, yeah, that's not. Um, Two, four, six, eight. So we're at eight. Uh, we could dispose that, but no. No, why should we? We could coin the cost there, but why should we? Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, of course. I mean, if you don't get them, sure. We play our odds. We draw five cards, six cards. Even if we don't have it in the starting and it's still a 50% chance that we get it. That belongs in the museum. Oh, it's actually Control Warrior. Or not. I don't know. We still don't have any battle rages, otherwise we could now go full super mode and um, attack it, Ecolite, Taskmaster, battle rage for 3, the dream, well, not exactly like that, but you get the point, okay, so, mm. weapon attack that, Taskmaster it, or should be Ecolite of Pain and Taskmaster the Ecolite of Pain. And these are the two possibilities. Executing this doesn't make any sense. Definitely not with the inner rage. It can still be patron. Fiery Warrex on that guy. Taskmastering and then playing the pirate. Uh, I guess not. I guess we need to draw the cards. I guess we can do that. It's not that clear cut. It's not that clear cut. Definitely not executing this. If it's control we, we may never execute that one. We could have actually played the Fury Works and kill it with the Taskmaster and perhaps even play a pirate. So then we would have had Pirate, Gnomish, Taskmaster. He could have then attacked the Pirate. These two actually suffer from Verbind effect. I don't know, or should have we played the X and play the Ecolite and the Pirate? No, no, this doesn't make sense because then he can kill the Pirate and I don't know. Wait, wait, do we have two, four, six, eight, nine? Okay, that's good. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Yeah, okay. Yeah. 
here's one patron okay so if it's perhaps it's still have it if it's patron then we are probably now done <laughs> if it's really patron then we just lose now mm. whatsoever we should align the weapon right and Okay. You shall align the weapon for sure. We play the armor smith before we attack these, right? Why not? Yeah, okay, let's do that. We could yeah. Mm. Yeah, we should attack her. It doesn't matter we don't play shield stamps. So the only question is, and so we didn't play the execute, the only question is pirate or not. And I would say yes, we should play the pirate. Why? The reason to play the pirate is because otherwise he could attack this. And like this we get one more, like we get more armor. Also, it feels that we will overcommit next turn with playing like Inner and Whirlwind. So we just play a better round brawl if we play it like this. Of course, we could have also played next turn the pirate, but then it's also a wounded pirate, so it also gets worse too. Next turn we can actually even play because we kept the coin. We can even play War Song into Patron, into Inner Rage, into Whirlwind. So that's also a consideration and a possibility. I still didn't want to wound him because I don't know 100% whether it's still no combo, so no Patron. We still don't know it. So keeping the execute, yeah. Okay, now let's think what we can do. So we have one whirlwind effect only, so diesel is out of any question. So the only thing we can actually try to achieve is to get a lot of patrons. So that's actually the only thing. Um, we can only hope that he whirlwinds because then he is done. No, he whirlwinds. Uh, he better actually. So that's really good. Okay, so now for him. So now he could actually achieve to do it first. Yeah, con we can only congratulate him. Um, now it looks. Uh, Oh, 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 we can, so one whirlwind, double whirlwind, um, so we should, no, do we simply do this, one whirlwind, if we exactly do two whirlwinds, then everything will die, uh, oh, he doesn't have slots, so he will only have three patrons, and then we can simply gamble that he doesn't kill us, he will pr definitely be able to kill us, I guess, but we have no choice, I think. Uh, can also inner rage. Uh, we can actually play. Um, um, we have double whirlwind. No, does it? Is it enough then? No, it's never enough, right? Yeah, we lose otherwise. I think we have to go for it. Um, 7, 10, it's 2 times 10. It's 2 times 10 with this in the Berserk. 2 times 10, 20, 24, 25, it's never, it can never be enough. So I guess we just have to do this and just hope. And we do 2 Whirlwinds or do we actually inner rage this 2? Then it does have even one less. So if we inner rage this, I mean we do have 2 Whirlwinds, so this should be enough. So we should inner rage that, right? Uh, oh my god, no, 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 he gets a, oh no, that's, that was bad. He now gets another slot from here. Never mind me. That was actually that was actually bad. My bad actually. So um, we get like this executed, I guess, and we should play. Ah, uh, no. I mean, uh, yeah. I would not be surprised if he would even execute it. Like, um, yeah. Um, as I said, we have to get lucky. Yeah. As I said, we have to get lucky. The, um, uh, did I screenshot? No, I didn't screenshot. But the other play cannot be cannot be enough, I think. We had Inner Rage and we have a double Whirlwind effect. So, um, 
Warson Commander and Frothing. Uh, we can we can just talk about it. I mean, I'm not opposed to talk about it. So we can either um, so there's a double whirlwind, but we only have Warson Commander and Frothing. So that's like uh, two plus five is seven damage plus um, nine damage. So it's sixteen damage. Plus the inner rage on his guy, 17 damage. Yeah, I'm 21 or something, even less probably, because the weapon cannot... 23, 23 actually. Mm. Ah, it's probably over. Oh, actually it's not over. Uh, oh. oh, yeah, actually, yeah. Mm. Yeah, but the other play could have never been enough. So, um, yeah, whatever. What now? This is Battle of the Giants here, yeah. Battle of the Giants. Mm. It's our second war song, right? No, no, it's actually our first because we didn't play. Otherwise, like if you play the, the charge guy too, we cannot play double whirlwind. So we can only play one whirlwind then. And one whirlwind is simply not enough. We would have had four charged, um, four charged patrons, and one of the patrons could have actually attacked the uh, two one. So we would have had five, five patrons, four of them charged. The problem was like with only one woman to go, he would have had the full board. Perhaps the full board minus one, but never enough for us to succeed. <coughs> we were simply unlucky that he had the combo one turn before us. We tried to do the best out of it. It was really close. One more turn and we would have succeeded. I also had Torsen. It's okay. We can wound the brother draw one more card, but uh, there's no out then. If you do this, we have to need um, to draw execute, we have to take that and execute it and we will go to two. Is there any answer to that? I don't think so. So if you want to win, we need to do it anyways with this. Uh, yeah, yeah, we are dead. Percy doesn't see it. Oh, what? No. Yeah, no, it's good. We are just dead.
Never ever give up. Um, the chat lethal guys, yeah, the chat lethal guys are always everywhere. Um, inner rage. I mean again, yeah, but okay here. Like if it's handlock, it's not that good. So slam Thorison. Uh, Thorison is a consideration against handlock for sure. And against handlock, he's vital, and against Zoo, even against Zoo, perhaps you can just keep it. It's a little bit risk involved, but I mean, so what? So, if you think it's Zoo, we should coin Unstable Ghoul. It can still be Zoo. He only missed his one turn, some one drop. Okay, now it has to be Handlock, probably. So, if it's Handlock, we need this to finish him. Which means we should probably simply align the weapon and say go. Not Armoring Up. Armoring Up means that we have a problem wounding ourselves or a bigger problem wounding ourselves it can still be zoo especially if he's doing stuff like this here but yeah okay sure dark bombing his own face all right so i wonder whether we should have played this one because i am like i don't know like mm, uh, two times so close, whatever. Um, what now? We can attack face, but there's like we don't even have another weapon. There's no real reason to attack face. We cannot even utilize the whirlwind weapon. We cannot even utilize the whirlwind of the weapon. What? What? Huh? Huh? What? What? Huh? Pass? Okay, so he taps into a 4 like handlock, and then suddenly something like this jumps in our face. Um, after he tapped, and also mm, completely mana inefficient, and a 2 1, it's. What? That is his best, best card. Uh, or option from 10? No, I don't believe that. Uh, what is this? We have many of them. Yeah, now we can actually simply play the ghoul, right? Uh, it would make some sense at least. Yeah, I know the ghoul is also a combo piece for sure, but the ghoul is actually really a good counter to that, what like he's doing. It's one whirlwind, but we don't even have any berserks in the hand, right? So this is a burden too, and we don't have any whirlwinds in the hand, uh, any vertex in the hand. I guess we can just go for it. Uh, let's just go for it. Next one there's Harrison, so uh, Harrison, so we should definitely not play uh, the attack. Huh. And now you mortal coins or what? Yeah, right. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, right. Yeah, hmm. Yeah, we can execute it, but uh, we can also play Thoris. And how many key elements does Thoris in this count? One, two. Yeah, two key elements. Uh, that's a little bit lousy. 
What, what should we do else? We are not wounded, so we will never be able to play the battle rage. Sorison. Do you think he will attack? Mm, yeah, probably he will simply attack with this, right? Hmm. Ah. We could also execute Armor Smith Armor Up. Plus it's better. Sorosin just doesn't do a proper job here. So now at least we can discard plus one. So that's a little bit good at least. We also have a lot of armor, so that's also a good thing. Mm. Yeah, I guess. Now we can begin to attack his base. Why? Yeah, because now we actually get into some possibilities. So now we have one Frozen, but we only just have one Whirlwind, and that's of course not good. How much damage is it? Four mana, six mana, three minions. How many models was it? Yeah. We cannot even wound ourselves even if we attack that. It's pretty ridiculous. Three minions, six minions, one word is six plus three is nine is eleven. Not good. Perhaps thirteen, but it's not good. Mm. We can kill this and probably Dungat will jump out. What now? We cannot wound ourselves, so this is stuck. We have to somehow try to get the kill, I think. The one turn kill, otherwise it won't work. Unless we draw like, um, no, not even the 3-3s three are enough. No. With one whirlwind effect in the hand, like with zero whirlwind effect, even patron is not good enough. So, I have no clue what we should do. Perhaps we should just go face and take the damage. I guess. But then again, we could have simply attacked this and executed too, I guess. Now, but then, then again, we can just execute it next turn after we play the whirlwind. Three minions. Hmm. Six minions. Seven minions. Hmm. I think we don't make it. With the unstable good we would have made it. Or if we would top deck like another unstable or we would also make it. Yeah, okay, no, it's pretty much over. I don't know, but we have to go for them. Can we play everything? Two, four, nine. Four, nine, one whirlwind. Um, so one whirlwind, so this spawns, but we cannot do the execute two, right? Uh, no. So it spawns one, um, we attack one, the other one attacks this. Um, yeah, we, we cannot suppress it. So yeah, I, I guess like this has to be, and because the Berserk is just not enough damage, but we can, I will screenshot, but 
because the Berserk is just not good enough damage, we need to do this. And um, The Berserk would have been... yeah, not enough, yeah. So... Get Rage. Hey Batman, that's us. Doom God is lethal. Of course he does, Doom God. What? He doesn't have Doom God. And it cannot be that he... What? There's no way that he doesn't have lethal here, right? Wait, what? Wait, what? Zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs, sieben, acht, ähm, zwölf, äh, we are one off. Are you, are you kidding me? What? Was? Ähm, eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs, sieben, acht, ähm, neun, dreizehn, sechzehn. We are not one off. What? We are one off. Wirklich? Nochmal. Okay, eins, zwei, 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 vier, sechs, okay, whatever. Zwei, vier, sechs, acht, ähm, ähm, zwölf, 13, 16, ja, wir wollen auch vor keiner, aber mein Gehirn ist wieder weg. Wir können drohen, aber gerade. Come on, come on, something, something, please, something. Ah, gang! What? 7, 11, oh, what? Here we go. 11, 12, 13, and he, he didn't have lethal last turn, so that's okay, actually. I mean, okay, I mean, it, it, it could be better for sure. Uh -huh. I don't know how we are still in the game, I have no idea. Oh, 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 his blood is full. He cannot taunt. Oh no, okay, never mind. Aha. Never mind, never mind. But now his blood is full. Okay. Yo, we won that! Guys! We won that. The tension is high. But, um, we won it. What the fuck? How did he win this game, please? It's just not possible. I did really ship that. Okay, I answered the chat shortly. What? Did you just really <laughs> guys? Well that was that was really really cool. Mm. Maybe we just to ship this, this is really like something, um, this is really something I, I didn't expect actually. So, yeah, I guess, yeah, let's just go for it.
Okay, so we play against against Warlock. Um, gah, okay, final boss again, guys. All right, I really want to know my rating. Okay, so um, three cards from hand lock. Usually, this should be hand lock. So we have the battle rage and battle rage. That doesn't make sense to be kept, especially not against hand lock. And Gnomish Inventor actually could be so execute this mentor against Handlock Accolade of Pen also. And Gnomish Inventor is actually debatable. Against Zoo it's completely trash. And against Handlock it's actually reasonable. I guess we can put it away because despite even despite him having malignant all cards, it still could be Zoo. So we don't want to just take the loss against that then. Gnomish Inventor is also not that great, so... No. Yeah, it's a team to be handled. So what do we do against handlocks? Yeah, we would, we would have liked to um, have the Gnomish Inventor, but obviously we don't have it. We have a lot of weapon charges, so yeah, we can use the weapon, not attack it. That makes sense. Yeah, he might have everything. We could have actually kept the Gnomish Inventor. It definitely was a possibility. Nah, we should play it out. Helps even attacking bombs. Nah, not really needed. Not really needed. Yeah, we don't have any burst. Why should we attack the face? We don't have any burst. Hmm. So yeah, we should wound our. Uh, so uh, the first question is, should we even execute it? So that's the uh, first thing. So execute yes or no. Yeah. And the thing is, we can actually definitely taskmaster this, um, so that it draws one more card. We could also actually deal one damage on the Twilight Drake, but that's nonsense. We should always hit with a weapon so that we prepare ourselves for battle rage and definitely do the taskmaster on that. So if you do the taskmaster on that, anyways, we can just do this first, and then because we don't really want to worry, do we? We could worry, but then again we don't take damage, and actually the first damage we want to take. So this is that. Patron, well, they, they actually don't do anything. So... I don't want this to get silent, so perhaps we should really send this and this onto this guy. Um, just to save the execute, I think the execute will be much more valuable in the future, so probably we should just do that. Um, yeah, cycling the battle rage for one card is not what we want to do. When he has been 4 6, no, it's not good. Yeah. We could align the despite and hope that he doesn't have hellfire. All in. It's probably one of the dumbest moves, but we could do it. If we, if we play bring patron and coin into whirlwind, that's very bad. What now? Yeah, I guess. I guess we can. Mm. 
Uh, or we played Patron into Double World, you know. Uh, no. We can burst with these like 18, but this is like in the in the far future we won't live long enough. We have to gamble. For obvious reasons, right? So let's gamble. We cannot let him discount again. No. If we are extremely lucky, doesn't have Hellfire or no Shadow Flame. Absolutely not possible. Probably we have like a ten percent chance that this happens. And even if he doesn't have it, even then, even then. Oh, actually, uh, uh, one patron would be a good. We only need one pa Yeah, this we would have also needed before. Hmm? It actually, is the the the, um, the damage lock? He played a dragon. It actually, it's a, dra it's a damage lock. Yeah, so if we would have had NRH one turn before, we w probably would have won. We could have also played one more Whirlwind, but that's nonsense in this current situation. There was no indication that he is. Yeah, you got it. So. What now? Uh, yeah. Uh, no, never mind. My bad. I'm already sleeping. Hmm. Just miscounted. Um. Probably this just loses us. I guess. Just miscounted. I was thinking we could do uh, Borsong's Whirlwind and Bad Rage. Mm, that was stupid. I guess I don't want to win the game for next week, it seems. I should have not played the battle rage. We would have had really good chances if I wouldn't have messed it up. So what the X on the one guy? Is it even useful? I'm not sure. And then the whirlwind to what to prevent four damage or five damage? 
I'm not sure about that either. And now we could have played Warsong into Dread Crosshair. This attacks this, Inner Rage Warsong, draw three cards and then get something useful. He would have not been able to kill us next turn still. And now we have the problems. Um, I don't even know what to do, like everything is bad here. So, uh, I guess this. I think you should just sit it out and hope that next turn some miracle happens, I guess. I really don't see anything else, actually. Ah, uh, Neo, though. Uh, okay, guys. Yeah, we are try hunting died, like, what, like, since ages, of course, like, what? Since two and a half hours, ah, well, we have to go for it, I guess. Cannot be that difficult. I must... Uh, yeah, it cannot be that difficult. I mean, we won't like whatever. Yeah, it cannot be that difficult. Um, So we could have used one of these. Yeah. This. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm quitting here. This is too stupid. Like, um, what did you miss? I wonder. We missed something essential. What was the essential thing? Yeah, we missed that we actually would have drawn three more cards. There's not much to be said to it. Um, uh, whatever. Yeah, I, I guess this. It, it just doesn't matter. Like the whole game was completely messed up, and I think it's just like, of course, like if we play a lot, like a lot of consecutive hours, at some point this will happen, and that's also the reason why I usually do breaks in between. So, yeah, yeah, I mean, of course, like, what happened is we missed something, um, yeah, I miscounted one mana, and then we could not play the war song, and um, as a result, we couldn't draw two cards, and also, instead, I then played the battle rage, because I was panicking, I, I replaced the battle rage against another card, whereas we could have drawn three cards, instead of one with the battle rage, which would have probably led us at least to a grim patron, or perhaps a thousand. 
If it would have led us to Thorazin, we could have played Thorazin, we would have discounted everything. Of course we didn't have, we only had one whirlwind effect, so one whirlwind effect would have not been enough, but, um, but nearly, I guess. So, it actually was very close. It actually, oh, it would have been very close. It would have been very close. Mm. But yeah, okay, cool. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Um, and I, I call it quit for today. So I make full screen and say bye bye. And yeah, we could not, we could not reach legend today. I know, I know. But um, there's always a tomorrow, and I'm. I guess we just do it tomorrow. Okay, so thank you very much for watching guys and have a nice one. Bye.